Welcome to the world of hydroponics. Growing plants without soil might seem magical, but it's a science. And like any science, it has rules. One of the most important is understanding hydroponic nutrition. In this comprehensive guide, we'll unlock the secrets of feeding your plants without soil. We'll cover everything from essential nutrients to pH and EC levels. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned grower, this guide will equip you with the knowledge to boost your plant growth. Get ready to dive in and discover the fascinating world of hydroponic plant nutrition. Let's embark on this journey together and learn how to nourish your plants for optimal growth and yields. In a hydroponic system, your plants rely entirely on you for food. Unlike soil, which naturally contains some nutrients, water alone can't sustain plant life. This is where hydroponic nutrients come in. Just like humans need a balanced diet, plants require a precise blend of essential nutrients. These nutrients are the building blocks for healthy growth, strong roots, vibrant foliage and bountiful yields. But what happens when the nutrient balance is off? Imagine trying to bake a cake with too much sugar or not enough flour. The result won't be pretty. Similarly, imbalanced nutrition in your hydroponic system can lead to a variety of problems. Plants might grow slowly, develop yellowing leaves or become more susceptible to diseases and pests. That's why understanding and providing the right nutrients is crucial for hydroponic success. Plants require a mix of macronutrients and micronutrients. Think of macronutrients as the main course and micronutrients as the essential vitamins and minerals. Macronutrients include nitrogen, the building block for proteins and chlorophyll, essential for leafy green growth. Phosphorus is crucial for root development, flowering and fruiting. Potassium strengthens plants, improves water regulation and enhances fruit quality. Micronutrients are also vital. Calcium is important for cell walls and overall plant structure. Magnesium is a key component of chlorophyll, essential for photosynthesis. Sulfur aids in protein synthesis and chlorophyll formation. Iron, manganese, zinc, boron, copper, molybdenum and chlorine are needed in smaller amounts but play vital roles in various plant processes such as enzyme function and nutrient absorption. Remember, providing the right balance of these nutrients is key to healthy and productive hydroponic plants. Now that you know the essential nutrients, let's talk about how to deliver them to your plants. Hydroponic fertilizers come in various forms, each with pros and cons. Liquid fertilizers are the most common and easiest to use. They come in concentrated forms that you dilute with water. Powder fertilizers offer a longer shelf life and are often more cost-effective in the long run. However, they require careful measuring and mixing. Granular fertilizers are similar to powdered fertilizers and are best for larger systems or outdoor hydroponics. When choosing a fertilizer, look for a complete nutrient solution that contains all the essential macro and micronutrients. Popular hydroponic fertilizer brands include General Hydroponics, known for its three-part nutrient system, Flora Series, that allows for customization. Fox Farm offers a range of nutrient solutions for different plant stages and growing styles. Advanced Nutrients is popular for its high-quality ingredients and innovative formulas. Research and select a fertilizer brand and type that aligns with your hydroponic system, plant type and experience level. Mixing your nutrient solution correctly is crucial. Too much fertilizer can burn your plants while too little can lead to deficiencies. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. First, gather your supplies. You'll need your chosen hydroponic nutrients, a clean container, a measuring cup or syringe, a pH meter and a TDS meter to measure EC. Next, fill your container with clean pH adjusted water. Following the manufacturer's instructions, carefully measure and add each nutrient component to the water. It's generally recommended to add each part separately and stir well between additions. Then, use your pH meter to check the solution's pH. Adjust as needed using a pH up or pH down solution until it falls within the optimal range for your specific plants, usually between 5.5 and 6.5. After that, use your TDS meter to measure the EC of your nutrient solution. This indicates the overall concentration of nutrients. Adjust by adding more nutrients or diluting with water as needed. Now, your nutrient solution is ready to nourish your plants. Always err on the side of caution when mixing nutrients. It's easier to add more than to dilute an overly concentrated solution. pH and EC levels are like the unsung heroes of hydroponics. They might seem technical, but understanding them is essential for maintaining a healthy and productive system. Let's start with pH levels. pH measures the acidity or alkalinity of your nutrient solution on a scale of 0 to 14. A pH of 7 is neutral, below 7 is acidic and above 7 is alkaline. 
Why is pH important? Plants can only absorb nutrients effectively within a specific pH range. When the pH is off, nutrient lockout can occur, preventing plants from accessing the food they need. Now, EC levels. EC measures the electrical conductivity of your nutrient solution, which directly correlates to the concentration of dissolved salts or nutrients in the water. Why is EC important? Monitoring EC ensures you're providing the right amount of nutrients to your plants. Too high of an EC can lead to nutrient burn, while too low can result in deficiencies. Adjusting pH and EC is straightforward. Use a pH up or pH down solution to adjust the pH of your nutrient solution. To adjust EC, add more nutrients to increase it or dilute with water to lower it. Regularly monitor and adjust your pH and EC levels to create the ideal environment for nutrient uptake and plant growth. Just like humans have different dietary needs, different plants thrive on different nutrient ratios. Leafy greens such as lettuce and spinach prefer a higher nitrogen ratio to support their rapid leaf growth. Fruiting plants like tomatoes, peppers and cucumbers need more phosphorus and potassium during the flowering and fruiting stages. Root vegetables including carrots, radishes and potatoes benefit from a balanced nutrient ratio with a slight emphasis on phosphorus for strong root development. Here's a general guideline for NPK ratios. For leafy greens, a ratio of 312 or 534 works well. For fruiting plants, try a ratio of 212 or 423. For root vegetables, consider a ratio of 121 or 232. You can find pre-formulated nutrient solutions tailored for specific plant types or experiment with adjusting the ratios of your chosen fertilizer. Even with the best intentions, nutrient deficiencies can happen. Recognizing the signs early on is crucial for taking corrective action. Common nutrient deficiencies and their symptoms include nitrogen deficiency, which causes stunted growth and yellowing of older leaves. Phosphorus deficiency leads to slow growth, dark green or purplish leaves and poor root development. Potassium deficiency results in brown leaf edges, weak stems and reduced flowering and fruiting. Magnesium deficiency is indicated by yellowing between leaf veins, often on older leaves. Calcium deficiency causes stunted growth, distorted new leaves and tip burn on leaves. To fix nutrient deficiencies, identify the deficiency by carefully examining your plants and comparing the symptoms to known deficiency patterns. Test your nutrient solution to check your pH and EC levels to ensure they're within the optimal range. Adjust your nutrient solution by adding the deficient nutrient or using a targeted nutrient supplement to correct the imbalance. If you suspect nutrient buildup or lockout, flush your system with clean pH adjusted water before adding a fresh nutrient solution. Regularly monitoring your plants and taking prompt action can help prevent minor deficiencies from escalating into major problems. Think of your nutrient solution as a plant's lifeline. Over time, plants consume nutrients and the solution can become imbalanced or depleted. Regular nutrient solution changes are essential for maintaining a healthy hydroponic system. How often should you change the nutrient solution? A general guideline is to change your nutrient solution every one to two weeks as a good starting point. Factors like plant type, growth stage, system size and environmental conditions can influence the frequency of nutrient solution changes. Monitor and adjust by observing your plants and closely monitoring pH and EC levels. If you notice significant fluctuations or signs of nutrient depletion, it's time for a change. To perform a nutrient solution change, start by disposing of the old solution. Carefully drain your hydroponic system and dispose of the old nutrient solution responsibly. Next, clean your system, removing any debris or algae buildup. Then, prepare a fresh batch of nutrient solution following the steps outlined earlier. Finally, carefully refill your hydroponic system with a new nutrient solution. Regular nutrient solution changes ensure your plants have access to a fresh and balanced supply of nutrients, promoting optimal growth and productivity. The debate between organic and synthetic fertilizers extends to the world of hydroponics. Both options have their pros and cons. Organic nutrients are environmentally friendly and can improve soil structure in systems that use a growing medium. However, they can be more expensive and less precise in terms of nutrient content. On the other hand, synthetic nutrients offer precise nutrient content and are cost-effective. But they can be harmful to the environment if not disposed of properly and can deplete soil health over time in systems that use a growing medium. Which is right for you. The choice between organic and synthetic nutrients depends on your priorities and growing philosophy. Consider the pros and cons carefully to make an informed decision that aligns with your hydroponic goals. 
By mastering the art of hydroponic nutrition, you're well on your way to growing thriving plants and enjoying the rewards of your hydroponic endeavors.